Hi, I'm Randy here from UX Stars with my dog Penny to share with you my journey today to Walmart and McDonald's. In particular, I'm going to focus on their parking lot pickup systems. Now, by parking lot pickup systems, I mean I will place an order on the phone and then I will go to the location and then they will load up my car without me even having to get out. Okay? So, first up, I want to clarify that I'm talking about the grocery app. And by grocery app, this is the Walmart grocery app. As a user, I would like it a little bit more clear to, that this is the Walmart grocery app because obviously there are multiple grocery stores near me. So in a screen full of icons, it would be nice for those who aren't as familiar with the Walmart logo to at least, if it is a separate app, to make it stand out as a Walmart app. All right. So when I'm leaving my driveway, I will go into the grocery app for Walmart and press a check in button. And at that point, I've checked in and they can see how close I am to the store. And I kid you not, today, within about 30 seconds, they came out of the big orange door and were rolling all the groceries towards my car to load them all up. It was great. And I hope that people never take that kind of efficiency for granted. You know, everything was smooth. We even knew what kind of groceries had been substituted at of time. The yogurt we ordered was not in stock, and my wife was already able to say, no, I, she did not want that particular substitution, no problem. So while I was waiting for them to load up the car, I figured I may as well order lunch at McDonald's. So first, the app didn't load. It's a glitch. Today, I'm trying to focus on the intentional user experience things, not on any kind of glitches, but it did happen. So after opening the app again, I was able to see, you know, that I had earned a free McCafe drink, which is one of the main reasons that I use this application because it has loyalty points. I like if I am going to patronize a restaurant repeatedly, if, you know, I can earn for some kind of free beverage or snack or something like that. It's nice. And in this case, they even had a deal for a free McMuffin. And so, sounds great to me. However, you can see that this is 11 a.m. and the deal goes till 11 a.m. So I didn't think it would even let me add it to the cart, but I'm like, well, it's a free McMuffin, so, you know, I got to try. So I went ahead and tried to place that into the cart. It let me. So, great. So I may as well place the order and tell it that I'm there because even though I'm in the Walmart parking lot as the customer, I want to see if they can get you know, cooking the items so that when I get there, it's ready as soon as possible. Um, call me impatient. I don't know. So when I'm in the Walmart parking lot, I kind of try to trick the system and say, I'm already there so that they get everything going. And it catches me. They have some kind of a GPS sensing in there to say, oh, it doesn't look like you're really here, Randy. You're trying to pull the wool over our eyes. I'm like, fine. When I get to the restaurant, I will then you know, get everything started. But see, the reason that I want to do that is because when I get to the restaurant, there might be a really long line of cars in the drive-thru, right? And if I get to Walmart 10 or 15 minutes after I place the order, then I kind of feel like I'm still at the end of that queue, where in reality, I know that I was placing my order, you know, 10 or 15 minutes ago. So I felt like I already sort of built in that wait time. I would like it if when I got close enough to Walmart that they got it a bit closer and automatically checked me in. That's my, my personal preference. Now, I always preface all these things with, you know, in reality, I'm just one user. You need to do real usability tests with a variety of different kinds of users. <sighs> but let me continue the story. So I am now here in parking lot two uh, spot and I indicate to them I'll do curbside check-in Spot number two, perfect, easy to go. And now it says, uh-oh, one or more items in your bag is now unavailable. Yeah, guess what that is? It's the McMuffin. So, great. I've gotten all the way to McDonald's. I know that I placed this order in my head, um, but now, because of the way their system is processing everything and validating it, once I actually get there, um, the window has closed, my 
my shopping cart is like invalid. I'm like, oh, well, this kind of kills the whole flow of everything where you're like, oh, and I'll go here and I'll pick this up and I'll go there and pick that up. So I had to take the time to order something else. You know, not a super big deal, but you know, it sucked up some time and it was just like, you know, it took you away from feeling like everything was working like clockwork. So I had to reopen the order and, you know, customize um, you know, quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, in this case, it would be kind of nice if it was a bit more perceptive that I am always going to say no pickles and no mustard. Sorry if I ostracize anybody in the audience out there, but I never want any of those things on my burger. Uh, moving along, I did at least earn a free McCafe. So I got myself a mocha frappe, which was quite delicious. Thank you. And, um, you know, I was happy with that. One little oddity of the system is that when you say, oh, yes, I would like to redeem that one, it kind of sets it as, yes, you want a medium one. And you're like, hold up a minute. Did I get it? Earn a free one? It said a free of any size. So as a customer, I'm going to sort of want to get the most for if I have something free to redeem right so it's a little odd there you know they may want to make it so that you have to select the size and make it very apparent that they're all free because some people may be like oh all i did was earn a medium one and then they'll get that and they won't realize that it really said any size right so i was then able to finally complete my order and you know they have cute little animation i appreciate little little touches like that of the bouncing fries you know they're they're simple but they add a little bit of uh, friendliness to the application i waited for the food uh and it came out promptly um but again if i'm going to place an order ahead of time it'd be nice if sort of i pull up and a minute or two later all the food comes out because on a day like this i had plenty of time but sometimes you've got hungry kids in the back <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the quicker you can, like, go from A to B and, and sort of work that out, the better. So they did say, hey, Randy, you know, how was your experience today? And I'm like, well, since you asked, um, you know, you're, you're probably going to get more feedback from me than, than you really wanted to. So I, I like the way that the whole thing starts out. It's like, just so you know, comments left here will not be responded to. Now, I know it just kind of sounds a little funny the way that that's written. Um, you know, I get it. You're, you're not going to respond to every single person who fills out the survey. Um, perhaps we'll talk, though. Um, so what should we improve? Now, the survey here is pretty vague. There's no way they're going to really understand what happened with my experience here, no matter how many of these boxes I check off. You know, if I say deal redemption, you know, what's that going to mean to them? Do they, do they think that that is going to be, oh, yeah, that's, you know, the whole egg McMuffin scenario, they're, they're probably not going to get that kind of um, conclusion. Um, and again, here they're just saying, oh, hey, what, what kind of features do you use the most often? So it was a very high level survey. It's not really going to communicate my particular user experience to them. So I um, overall am very happy with these systems, which sort of take an intersection between, you know, the physical world and the digital world and just try to add that little bit of extra convenience to the whole shopping experience. And nothing I say here is to pick on either one of these stores uh, or restaurants that I patronize and appreciate. Um, it's just this kind of a critique, I hope either makes them feel appreciated or helps them take certain things to the next level for my fellow customers. All right, thank you for taking the time today and have a good one.